Okay, let's do a walkthrough of a 2019 Blazer Bay 2420 GTS. You got a, a Minn Kota 36 volt trolling motor up front. Plugs into the anchor locker here. This is front storage apartments. Uh, I keep tackle and extra life just life vest and those things in there. So I, got it, I got it pretty full. Holds a pretty good bit of storage. Uh, it's also got shot. Uh, Shock absorbers on it there. Okay. There's eight speakers total in the boat. Four of them are mounted up here. Uh, and then there are two on each side of the console. There are two amps. I think they're 1,000 watts. Radio sounds really good. There is no subwoofer on the boat. You really don't need it. It's actually a really great sounding radio. Uh, if you're at the sandbar, uh, odds are you're going to be one of the louder ones there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Turning around, let's go back to the stern. We've got, I got my little custom logo. I'll remove that. Uh, I've got, uh, you got a bait well up front or storage. I added these little custom straps to hold life vest and buoys. Works really well. If I was going to keep the boat, I would add another set over there uh, for extra life vest and buoys. Obviously, you've got places to store brushes and stuff. This is a brand new light. I just bought it last year when I bought the boat. So it's a brand new light. I had it completely rewired. It's back there in the corner. So it's that, that fitting and that light, brand new. Did a lot of electrical rewiring on this boat. Uh, spent over $3,500 uh, with a professional company out of Biloxi to get it the way that I personally wanted. And I'll go over that as we get back to the ham. Had a custom stainless steel bimini top installed. You'll notice it goes absolutely like gunnel to gunnel. If you look down, right? So humongous shade. So I think this is eight feet by six feet. That's the amount of shade. Great shade, gives you tons of that. It also falls down. I'll show pictures of that. So when you're stowing it, I threw the little top up top. See that? And that's what you use to actually uh, tow, tow the boat with the top down. All right, let's move back closer to the ham. I'll call out, you've got four rod holders on each side, both of them stainless steel. On the boat, <coughs> custom cup holders are mounted here on each side to give extra cup holders. Uh, these seats, oh man, these are great. Uh, you just, you're sitting down in the boat, you're driving the boat, it's just like a car. Uh, absolutely love these, the way this layout and the, and the seat is done. Let's look at the ham here for a second. Uh, you got a little phone storage uh, section there. Linko trim tabs button is there. Uh, tilt, I mean not tilt, but uh, trim for the jack plate is to the left of it. The steering wheel does move up and down. Got a Fusion radio. I installed that brand new last year. Uh, Bluetooth. Lawrence. I um, think that is the Elite TI uh, screen uh, with that. I do have a, a chart for uh, a, a, a maps chart. Navionics, that's that's in there. Does really great. This boat comes with a VHF ICOM radio. Uh, I'm a ham radio operator, KE1THE. Uh, so if you know ICOM, you know that's that's a great brand. Uh, the antenna folds down, so when you're either putting the cover on, which it does come with, or uh, trailering it, you don't catch the extra wind. Also has a radio antenna. Like I said, the boat was completely uh, rewired. One of the things that I added, I like to know on my boats what my voltage is. I don't trust, I don't trust voltage from uh, chart plotters. So I had a uh, custom LED. You see right now the boat's plugged in. It's a 13.61 volt. Um, the boat has a full power pole charge system. Um, I can take this down over here, but you probably won't be able to see it because it's in the very, very back. Again, this was all rewired. Everything, everything was completely redone. Uh, if you can see the, you probably can't see it back there. It's in the very, very back. The power pole charge system is fantastic. Um, it runs this boat completely all day long. The motor's cranked. You're charging all five batteries. So there's three batteries under here. There's two batteries in the battery box back in this side. Uh, there's one switch, perco switch, to turn it all off. It cuts everything on, cuts everything off. Um, the hours on the motor, um, 
Let me turn that on so I can get a video. 289 hours. And let it come up. Boom. I mean, on the dot, 289 on the dot. All these gauges here work uh, with it. You have power poles. That's the power pole button. There is a remote in there as well. And you got twin eight foot power poles uh, in here. This is a, basically we use this as a uh, fish box. You also got storage here, easy access to the build. This pulls up, <coughs> you can just slide it up, leave it off if you don't want it. Uh, you got to so open this up for more fishing back here in the back. Like I said earlier, completely rewired last year. Got twin blue Optima batteries back here. This is where also your blades come in for that. Again, one switch turns everything off in the boat, turns everything on, wired in right there. Okay. Power pole charge system is amazing. Um, it's fantastic. I probably won't own another boat without one. Uh, it's that good uh, because you can move power. So when the motor's running, it's charging all five batteries. So it's moving battery uh, power around, uh, but also uh, it allows you to um, not really have to worry about anything. Things just kind of work, right? So you always have power on the boat to run live wells all day long, radio with the sandbar if you're out with the family or fishing. You can run multiple live wells all day long. It'll pull power where it needs it and puts it when it needs it. When you crank up and you move or you make a run, you're putting power back into all five batteries. Absolutely fantastic. There are jack plates, excuse me, <coughs> not jack plates. There is a jack plate here on the back of the boat. Um, and then there are two trim tabs underneath that I mentioned earlier. I had a custom ladder installed. I, I say custom, it actually was from Blazer Bay. Talked to Mike at Blazer Bay, sent it over. Furlons Marine and Gaucher installed it, did a fantastic job on it, okay? So a lot of little custom options been done to this boat. Um, you know, a lot of blazer bays I see, they don't have VHF radios. They don't have power pole charges. They don't have bimini tops uh, for the shade. I think it's important, you know, why, why sunburn yourself? Get out of the sun if you can. You don't want to run over 30 miles an hour with the T-top. Uh, I have gone a little bit over if I needed to, you know, 34 or something like that. Uh, but you want to you wanna stay under 30 miles an hour with the T-top up. Doing that with the fuel burn on this boat, I mean, geez, you can get, depending on your load and stuff, you can see uh, four miles, four and a half, five miles a gallon, uh, depending on the load at that speed. I call it pontoon speed. Okay, that's the inside of the boat. I'm going to stop this, do it on the video for the back. Again, 2019, 289 hours. Got a great sound system on it. Very clean boat, very well taken care of. Boat's been dry stored by the previous owner. Uh, and it was dry stored up until about uh, uh, the end, the uh, until July 1st. That's actually the, the official day of, of this year. Uh, and I have a custom cover, which I'll show you that, some pictures of. Uh, and I keep the boat here in the driveway uh, with a custom cover over it, which is also another great. All right, quick video. Just let the top down, completely open. Cast all you want, fish. Get up to speed. Uh, boat, I've, I've seen 60 on this boat, in case somebody asks. Uh, that's not like every day, but that's like, I call it wide open build dance mode. Uh, you can hit 60 uh, on it. But that, that's how the bimini top lays down when you're trailering, all the cables that hold the top up fold into them. One thing I didn't mention earlier was these white things. This, is, this also comes with a redfish tower. And uh, I'll do another video of that, going over the Redfish Tower. But it, it hooks in here, it lays down onto the seat. Um, so whenever you're trailering it, and then you fold it up, and then this thing here has a pin that goes in, and then there's a strap inside of here that you put up to actually strap it up. So uh, really nice tower. Uh, all right, let's check out the custom Redfish Tower. Custom Redfish Tower was built by Frog Daddy. He makes fantastic, fantastic stuff the way this is built, okay? Uh, there's where it connects to on the brackets I showed in the other video. Connects there. Got nice padding, wrap for the handles up top. This comes up when you stand on it, which gives you places and you even got cup holders there. So this comes all the way up and then clips in down here uh, so it gives you a pretty good, pretty good bit of uh, stuff. I'm 6'2", to give you an example, and 
This hand all hits me right at the bottom of my neck. Okay, so I'm 6'2". Also call out when I was in the, I'm 6'2", and I'm standing up in the boat with the bimini. Uh, so it gives you an idea how tall the bimini is. Bimini is probably seven feet above my head total. So it gives you a nice headroom. Uh, but that's the frog daddy tower, redfish tower. It's got rod holders, cup holders, custom painted, matches the boat, looks, looks great. Goes with the boat. Okay. So be sure to. All right, let's do an outside walk of the boat. Uh, starting up front, going down, point out one little ding ding here. This got into a dock at my buddy's place on the river. Uh, and that's the only ding ding I'm aware of on this hole. I think that can be easily repaired and not even buff out. Let's go back on this side. One thing I like about this trailer, these straps are built in. They're all mounted and the front too. And so when you don't have to take the straps off and, and lose them, here's the, here's the ladder. Power poles, motor, okay. Prop, brand new, last year. This is a PowerTech, let's, let's check it out. PowerTech OFX 4R21PCL200, 15.25 by 21. Four blade prop, okay. Does great on this boat. Gives you a great hole shot, a lot of power, a lot of torque to it, okay. Transducer off the back. There's the trim tabs. Again, straps on both sides. Super clean boat. Super clean. Okay. This is a drain plug. Somebody on the Blazer Bay Forum mentioned this. So what I do when I run the boat, I put the plug in right there. And that way no water can come up and float back through. And if I need to let the water out, I just pull the plug out and it drains out. Out the back. Right here, that's where it drains out. Okay. Again, that's the only ding ding on that side that I'm aware of. You see the boat's super clean. We were on at the islands this weekend with this boat with four people on it. Had a nice little one foot chop on Sunday. Boat did great. Kept us all dry. Okay. The only other little ding ding on this boat that I want to call out is the front of this shoulder motor got caught in a dock and a little plastic doodad broke off. Still works, still fully functional. The little plastic little doodad and that can be uh, fixed. Just calling it out because if anybody knows me, I'm very particular about things and if I kept the boat, I would absolutely get that address and fixed, but it doesn't mess with the functionality. It's just a cosmetic thing at this point. So there's the boat. If you want a turnkey boat, this one's it. Just, just took it out Sunday. Selling it because I want to get a bigger boat, hard top, and my wife wants forward seating up front. So we're gonna go a little bit bigger, 25, 26 forward seating. Not really sure what I'm gonna get yet. Probably gonna wait a little bit, store up some money, and go for it. All right, should be final video. Cover is on, took me by myself. Probably five minutes to put it on. Nothing to it. Put it on, strap it down. I gotta come back down and now that I got it on there and pulled up, pull it back down and tighten it up and then go back around on the strap. Okay? But and then tighten it up for it. It'll actually tighten the other, it'll just bump up under there. That's a T top cover on it. I mean a T top. It's the boat cover that comes with it. That was a uh, $1,300 option. It's the second cover I've had from this company. Here's a logo. T-top boat covers. Second one I've had. This is the upgraded 10-year, uh, it's called Sun something, but it's the 10-year fabric. Uh, it's really good. It sheds water, and uh, when you tighten it up, water doesn't collect on the sides uh, of it. It just sheds it right off. So that also comes with the purchase. Calculate that into the price as well. Uh, along with the Redfish Tower, power pole charge, uh, all the custom accessories and everything with it. It's ready to roll. It's ready to go fishing. Or to the island. Thanks.